In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at working with the HSL tool in CorelDRAW, or the Hue, Saturation, and Lightness tool. This is a tool I use a lot for image adjustment, prepping my images for color separation, and many different things. Very powerful tool. And I've got a screen capture of it set up here in CorelDRAW. A couple of different things to be aware of here. You've got channels. First is the master. That will affect all of the color in the visible spectrum of light or color that would be in the visible spectrum of light. Then you've got different channels. You've got red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, grayscale, and you've got hue, saturation, and lightness. If I zoom out here and zoom in on my color chart, we'll take a look at how this works. If I go to my pick tool here first, make sure I get that selected, and I'll go to effects, adjust, I'll go to Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. Bring this over here to the right. Now from the master channel, you'll notice if I enter in a value of 30, because we're starting at 180 based on 360 degrees of color in the visible spectrum, type in 30, and you'll notice that my orange has now moved 30 degrees into my red. If I go to minus 30, you'll notice that my magenta has moved into my red. And I can also left click, hold down, and move the color around manually, and you can see those changes. Go ahead and reset here. Come here to saturation, left click, hold down, pull that up, and you'll see the changes down here in my color, tints, tones, and shades. I can also change my lightness, left click, and pull that, get lighter, pull it back into the negative, it gets darker. Go ahead and hit cancel here come down here to my tiger. Now I've got two copies of this. What I've done here is I've separated the black from the color. And what you're doing really with the hue is you're adjusting what's going on in the color of the image. So let's say working with the tiger, I want to make that orange a little brighter, make him pop more. Make sure that's selected. Go to effects, adjust, hue, saturation, and lightness. Now if I go with the master channel, I'll start affecting all of it. And you can see the change, and I don't really like that hue. Or if I go to the saturation and pull that up, I'll start making a change to all of the color in the image. However, if I go to just the red channel, knowing that orange is comprised of red and yellow, and then I pull up the saturation in my red, I'll start making his orange pop. And you can see that come up there. I actually go to the yellow too, bring up a little bit of that, and you can see the change in the image. I can also do some work with my lightness and make some adjustments that way. I'll select OK. I'm going to go ahead and copy him. I'll hit Control Z to undo that, and you can see the change in the image. So I use the HSL tool to make some radical adjustments in the vibrance or the pop of the image that I would want to separate or print. And I'd probably make some further adjustments with the green, get some of that out of there, etc. But this is just a basic tutorial on the basic functionality of the HSL tool. You can get some images, you can do some experimentation with it, learn it for yourself, and you'll find it to be a very handy tool in CorelDRAW. Go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next session.